Hey everyone, it's me, Laura, from The Papered Soul, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm just coming today to show you a, my latest journal that I made. Uh, this is a design team project for Elsie Bell's bookshelf, um, and this is her Butterfly Grotto journal kit. Um, and so I've done some videos before um, this, the last two videos um, that I've worked with some of her papers, done a tutorial and then also shown you some um, elements that I've made for this journal. Um, it is a canvas uh, fabric cover. It is nine by five and three quarters across inches. It has an olive green seam binding double, double tie. It's not attached, so you can take it off and you know, then tie it back on. I've got, it's a one big signature and it's chunky, really, really chunky. Uh, the colors are some of the, you know, pretty pinks um, and teals, uh, aqua blue, green, olive greens and everything. So it has just a really, I love this fabric. I've sewn around it, done a lot of sewing elements all throughout. As I always do, I double back pockets and, and tags to make them sturdy. I have a book plate here where I stamped out um, Fly Away. Um, and then I have like a little ruffle in the background. I've put a little garment pin here with some little um, check glass beads um, in green and teal, aqua blue. And then I have a pretty little butterfly um, charm there. So with this kit, um, you can, I'm gonna put the description below of everything. Uh, also, I'll try to put a supply list of things that you can, where you can get some supplies uh, that I've used. But also for ki uh, Ellie's kit, um, she does a print and ship option too. So you can download it as a digital, uh, or you can have her print it out for you and, and send it to you. So here's my inside. Um, and I have uh, just some layers of pretty papers got a sewn tag here with some uh, ledger paper on the back and I've just tucked this into a little glass seam uh, pocket. I have a little bit of um, just some washi tape to keep that pocket closed and you can just peel it real easy. I did a little stamped tag there with, that I colored with a pretty butterfly and you can just kind of loosely touch that over to hold that uh, shut. There's some of our beautiful papers. Did a little uh, decoupage here, a little butterfly. Did edge stamping on just about every page. I've got a little fun um, sewing stamp that I have that puts little stitches on your pages. This is a pretty card from her kit, and I've just backed it, of course, and sewn all around it. This one I did um, an alterations tag that I have, and then I put uh, printed her uh, page out on um, vellum and so you can see the alterations tag information in the back and I sewed around it and it's, there's your coffee staining and everything so that was a fun tag to make. I've added pattern papers to match her kit. This is one of her really pretty pages. It's got like a little caterpillar down here, butterflies, hanging vines. I printed some um, lines on the back of some of her pages uh, for extra journaling space. I've done some stenciling. This is just a little um, die cut that I just kind of glued there. Um, this is one of your uh, tags that I actually showed in my tutorial video. Um, you can tuck something under this tag, but you can also pop this um, paper out from under that top of the tag and journal all over this, this paper. So I just tuck that right there. Then you can journal on that if you wanted to. And whoop, this is part of that. So this is, um, I made tags out of a lot of her papers. So that's what one of my other videos shows you how I did that. Anyway, I did stamping and that's just a pretty layout of hers, a pretty page. More paper of hers. I added some pink lined paper. Um, this little pocket, um, this is some of them from her papers that little things I made, elements as well. So you can just do some journaling there. 
And I have this, more journal space, and that tucks into one of those tabs that she had. And that is one of the pages also that I cut up and made into journal cards. I've got quotes in here, butterflies, flowers that fly, and all but sing by Robert Frost. And this flips up so you can do a little journaling there. But then you have your pocket. I have, I think, 21 pages in here. So when you multiply that times, you know, your four sides, you know, per page. So, you know, we're looking at above 80 pages in this journal. It's a very, very chunky signature. I was going to do two signatures, but I made it one. And I have like a little tag here from her kit and put some fun little fringe trim or yarn trim on that. And that. Little pocket there says beauty. I stamped that on some muslin. Um, this is one of her beautiful pages. That's the back of that one. Made up. Took one of her little cards that she has in there and put it on one of my bags. I have that I stenciled on, and so you can use this as a little tuck. I put washi tape on the edge of that just to make that nice and secure. Here's one of her little envelopes. It's really pretty in the kit, and so I just tucked it inside the bag and have that hanging off that lip. This is a really interesting element, and it's so funny how this happened, but I did do some decoupage, so you know when you cut your napkins and you have the two and three ply uh, thickness, and so, when I had fussy cut my butterfly, one of my little um, parts that I peel away that's just white from the napkin fluttered to the floor. And <laughs> I kept walking past it, meaning to pick it up, but I was going back and forth doing my crafting. And then finally I thought, you know, I could decoupage that on and make it look like a little ghosted, kind of a little ghosted butterfly. And I thought that would be like an ode to all the butterflies that have come and gone, but that have given us pleasure. And beauty in the world so I just I thought that was fun so it's got a little texture in the shape of a butterfly here's a pretty little tag uh, or card journal card this comes off um, and I've got my ribbon here on my paper clip and this opens up and so you have this little element with some washi tape extra journal space and then you can open this all up and journal on that and so I put this tag like, I kind of do both of them at the same time, and that way it kind of holds this in, gives me a tuck spot. This is one of the elements I created, and so there's little pockets here. Put my little tags in there. Um, but I made little, I cut one of our pages down and made these little pockets, and you actually can, this is a piece of paper you open up, and of course you can journal all over that. So, just a fun little element there. And then on this page, I made, I've got a glassine bag that I sewed there, and I took one of her journaling cards, and I just cut it totally up in little thirds. So she has a journal card that looks like that, and I put little, so I took a index card and folded it over and sewed little sections for little pockets for each one of these. So that was fun, and then stamped out butterfly and put, a, put some fun twine on that, so that just, more journaling space for you there. Oops. My glassing bag. Some stitching. Actually, just stamp stitching. Line paper. Look at that pretty image. This kit is so super colorful. You could use any pattern papers with it, or if you want to, you don't have to. This has got gorgeous uh, colors, and you just can't go wrong. You can just play with so many of your supplies. Here's one of our little tags that I just stuck there as a as a little tuck. I made these out of my guest checks and just stenciled and decoupaged a butterfly on it and sewed around it, backed it with coffee dyed papers. Took one of our pages and made belly band out of that. Cut up one of our pages and you know put this on here as a little booklet that I actually have extra paper and, and just sewed it in like a little signature here, like a little booklet. Here's another booklet out of one of the pages. I shrunk it down, maybe about 65% or something, but this is one of our page spreads. Look at the beautiful colors in that. It's just gorgeous. Sewed it in like a regular signature with just some extra papers. So, put that in that pocket. 
On this here, I have a quote, got a little lace up there and I have a quote. It says, love is like a butterfly. It goes where it pleases and it pleases wherever it goes. That's an anonymous quote. A couple of little elements, one of her pretty tags, colorful tags, and then I took some ledger paper and um, put one of the tabs on the top in a bow and just thought that'd be fun little journaling space. And I made a pocket out of one of her pages. This was a lot of fun. She had these as extra elements. Actually, if you can see the um, that little line there with the, the little blue um, leaves and the red flower. So I took, she had one and I as an element and I cut it up into little separate pieces and backed it with coffee dye papers. Then I made a little pocket and I have a little piece of paper in here for extra journaling. Um, I even stenciled a little bit in that pocket. Um, but what I did is when I put these in here, I just tuck them in the back of this pocket and this little flower, part of this little flower will kind of hold that pocket closed just or hold it shut just a little bit. But then it looks like a little flower arrangement in your pocket, so that was fun. Stenciling, more paper, isn't that pretty? All kinds of gorgeous colors. Lots of journaling space. This is one of my little things where I did a pocket off to the side of the page, um, and I do have like a little tag in each one. I've got another one I'll show you. Um, this is the center of my signature. I just kind of cut out two little butterflies from her papers and the way I glued it on the strings, uh, the string is its little antennas. And I just kind of glued it in the center so that that can give you a little 3D effect. Oops, extra paper. <laughs> made my little booklet here. This is one of the elements she had and it's, I just made a little booklet out of it with some extra papers, that same shape. More stenciling. So this is our envelope, I'll show you that. I attached it for a little tuck spot. This is one of her journal cards and I just backed it on some of my paper to match. So a little journaling space there. And this is her pretty envelope and you can certainly tuck some things in there. I did a little stenciling on it so it would be pretty. Even on the inside, here's just a pretty little um, tuck with a pretty journal card that she has. I've got back that one with index card, color yellow index card. Some uh, stamping there. Here's another one of my little side pockets on the page. I probably, I may need to add some ribbon to these um, to make it easy to pull out because hold on just a sec. That slipped down and I didn't realize. Okay, so this is the other one I was gonna show you. And ledger paper on the back and sewn all around. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna put some bows on those so they won't slide down and you can get them out easy. This is one of the elements that I made. It's just an overlay on the page. Take the paper clip off. I've done sewing. Um, you've got like a little pocket here for little whatever you wanna tuck there. And I've got a little one of our cards there and you open it up and you can journal. And then on the back, it's got another pretty view there of her papers and I just tucked in, folded up some pretty pink lined paper to have for some extra journaling space. So you've, I've got my little page here that's got some stenciling on it, which blends in real pretty. Paper clip. Here's uh, the other side of that bag, more washi tape on the edge. I've got like a little ribboned piece of index card. Used one of her um, journal cards as a little pocket. Um, I do have, yes, I have a little journal card in here that I made from her paper. And then I also have a little butterfly envelope kind of tucked there. These little envelopes are so cute. They're just the perfect cute little size. There's another. Where flowers bloom, so does Hope, Lady Bird Johnson. And I've got Hope here and one of my crocheted flowers. And then 
pretty journal card. I think I made that out of some paper, extra paper. And then one of her little elements that I made was, that's just to close that little journal spot. Tuck it under there. More gorgeous butterflies and flowers. They're just it's beautiful. This one has a very faint butterfly in the background. It's just so pretty. Uh, here's another element I made that also kind of drapes over the page, and it's just a journal card that I made. Got Solitude, eyelash trim, her pretty images. This opens up for more journaling, and I will just pop that over. Oops. Pop that over there. It just decorates the, the front of this page, and it'll decorate the back of it as well. See? So on here, I made a pocket, and I decorated the pocket um, with a journal card and made another pocket out of the journal card. And um, I just tucked away some extra paper and a little jar stamp with some rose gold twine on it. That was just for fun. The quote is, there's nothing in a caterpillar that tells you it's going to be a butterfly. And there's a little caterpillar over here in her, in her pretty paper. So that's just really sweet quote, I thought, and like I say, that's a pocket as well. Here's another guest check that I did, just stenciling and decoupage and some sewing. And a belly band from her papers. So I made a lot of elements from her papers, and then she's got a lot of elements in her kit as well. More little stitching stamping and some butterflies and her beautiful paper. And there you have it. I'm gonna sign it uh, along this little spine here or this little edge somewhere, somewhere. Just kind of simple signing it. And there you are. So there's the back and then there's the front. I was really excited about this one. Um, like I say, it's, it's very chunky and I'm going to have it up for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, and I hope you like it. And I hope everyone, I thought this was a great journal to bring in summer, you know, just, it's, I thought about calling it On the Wings of Summer, you know, but I, I titled it Fly Away, so I thought that was apropos too, because the butterflies are just flittering and fluttering all around. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye.